Welcome back. Officials in Nassau County have activated their emergency operations center, coordinating storm response among all of its agencies, including police, fire, and railroad. And with temperatures expected to stay below freezing, the county is also keeping its warming centers open to anyone who may need shelter. Joining us from Baldwin, Long Island, Nassau County Executive Alora Curran. County Executive, thanks for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So how are your crews handling everything right now? Well, we had about 85 trucks out last night plowing, but this is the kind of storm it's long and it's slow moving and we're just going to keep having to go back out there and out there and attack the snow. And of course, working really closely with our towns, villages, cities, with the state, because we have a crazy patchwork quilt of roadways out here with different jurisdictions. So it's really important that we work together and get it done for all of our residents. Do the kids have a snow day or are they learning remote like here in the city? Most school districts in Nassau County are doing a full-fledged snow day, so they're very happy about that. Uh, but, you know, we have 56 independent school districts, and they each make their own decision on snow days. Gotcha. Let's talk about the warming centers. I know you've opened up a bunch of them. Are you concerned about COVID protocols? You know, we had some really hot days this summer, so we had those as cooling centers, and we are asking people to have masks. There are social distancing protocols where we have masks for people who may not have them. So we did a good job with that during the summer, and I'm sure we'll, doing, we'll do a good job with this. I mean, if people need a place to go that's warm and safe, we have it supplied for them. And we also have a warm bed program. People can call um, our social services, and we'll have shelter for them at night if they need it. And okay, so they're open. Do you have a certain amount of people that you will let in these warming centers? And then what happens if it goes over that number? You know, luckily we haven't had that problem, but you know, there is limited capacity. It has to be 50%, but so far we have not come anywhere near to reaching that top number. So we're confident we can get it done. So you say they're open to anyone, like anyone? Yes, if people need a place to be, we will make it. We will make accommodations for you them. You don't have to be a resident. No. No. Oh. Okay. And when you say we're asking people to wear a mask, is it not mandatory? No, we're requiring that people wear masks. I was being polite. No, okay. Absolutely <laughs> I was wondering. We still, COVID is still a thing. Okay. Um, and, you know, we're hearing about all these different variants that are more contagious. And we know that the same simple protocols, face mask, social distancing, hand washing works for all of variants. Okay. All right, let's talk about the salting. How's that going in Nassau County? So we pre-treated all of our roads. We have 1,500 lane miles that we're responsible for. Pre-treated brine. We have a lot of salt. We didn't have a lot of storms last year, so we got a lot of salt left over. Uh, so we were out there salting as much as possible, brining as much as possible before the snow started to fall. And then that we switch over to the plowing operation and that will happen. It's very strategic in how we do it. Because it's such a long storm, we wanna make sure our guys are rested and they're ready to go and then the next crew goes out and takes over. If somebody's having a problem, is there a website or something they can go to? Yes, they can call 516-571-6900 with any issues that they may have. They can also go onto our website. We have a map, an interactive map, that shows which road belongs to who, to which jurisdiction, and with numbers to call. Oh, right. that's a little complicated. Uh, <laughs> okay. It gets complicated out here. It's not like the city where it's the city that does everything. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a lot of um, cooks in the kitchen. Last time you were on, you were in quarantine. I take it you're healthy? Yes, uh, I'm happy to say I'm out of quarantine. I'm back outside and I have new empathy for most of Americans who've been stuck inside for the past 10 months. <laughs> Thank All you right. so much for joining us on Good Day. Thank you, ladies. Have Talk to you one. soon. Okay, have a good one. Eight eight.